Hello, hello, good evening, Guadalupe. Hello, Isela. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How good are you? Day. Hello. Hi. Welcome to your Thursday's class. It's a pleasure to have you here and for sure to have another opportunity of learning. How was your day? It was great. It was great. What did you do? Um, I was working in the afternoon and in the morning I was with my daughter in the okay. school. Okay. Oh, they went to school. Ah, yeah, because they are in Ilopango, right? It's true. Yeah, only the ones in San Salvador didn't go to school. Yeah. They, they had vacation, two days of vacation, today and tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would be good, right? definitely. Well, so, Isela, what did you do? I Hello. Solo, solo trabajar. Only working, working and working. <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> it it happens. A los hijos. <laughs> yeah, it happens, right? Just to take care of the kids and work. And that is double work, right? Believe me, right? Cuidar niños es doble, triple trabajo que el trabajo sí. normal. <laughs> es cierto. It is indeed. It's like, ay no, no se suba, bájese, que no se quede, que espanta. So, like, come Te on. vas a caer, no corras. Exactly, right? Solo mantenerlos vivos es trabajo. <laughs> Así es. <laughs> Yeah, and it, bien por la gracia de Dios. That's, that's fantastic, right? Many people want to have that opportunity and they don't have it, right? So we are totally blessed. Okay. Well, it is, a, it is a great, great pleasure to know that you had a good day, right? And that you were working and that you were at home taking care of the kids. So for sure, many of, I am going to remind them that we are here. All of them are connected now, but uh, I am going to tell them that we are connected and okay okay here i sent a message on the group we are waiting for all of you well welcome welcome robert welcome diego welcome lore mr eric welcome to your class thank you teacher Today, as I told you yesterday, we're going to start working on the past tenses and we're going to work on platform, okay? We're going to complete some of the sections of the platform so we can, we can finish with that part today, right? That's going to be the introduction. And the complete next week is going to be dedicated to a past tense. So we are going to be working a lot on that because that's a very important topic that needs a lot, a lot of practice and it needs a lot of work because we need to develop it to the best. And for sure, let me share my screen with all of you. Welcome everybody. Welcome to all the ones that are connecting right now. For sure, tomorrow we don't have classes, right? Remember that our classes are from Monday to Thursday. So tomorrow we have a day off and you have your normal day off, right? Tienen su día normal de vacación mañana. Y el extra que es el asueto nacional. <laughs> so tomorrow we don't have classes, okay? I would love to have classes on Friday, but tomorrow we don't have. Okay, let's start today with a little practice. I need you please to get your notebook. I need you to get your notebook. Get your notebook. Show me your notebook on camera. Show me your notebooks on camera. I need to see your notebooks. Excellent, very good job. I can see everybody. Okay. And we're going to practice vocabulary. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to practice vocabulary. And I need you to be smart and fast. We are going to write as many words as possible with a letter that I am going to give you, okay? I am going to give you a letter and you need to write as many words as possible with that letter. Tantas palabras como puedan con esa letra, okay? 
let's practice. Let's practice. We are going to do the first one. And we are going to start with the letter, pay attention. We are going to work on the letter S. Write as many words as possible with the letter S. Okay, something, scary, a snake, I don't know. Write as many words as possible with the letter S. I am going to give you one minute for this. One minute as many words as possible with the letter S. Tantas palabras como puedan con la letra S. Go, 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 go. One minute. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Sandrita. Good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. We are practicing vocabulary. Estamos practicando vocabulario. As okay. many words as possible with the letter S. Tantas palabras como puedan con la letra S. Go ahead, in English for sure. <laughs> Don't say sabana there in Spanish. No, 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 no. In English, in English. One minute for this. Okay. <laughs> this is the practice, okay? This is the practice. Don't worry. We will have one minute. Okay, and you have it here on camera. Aquí lo tenemos, on camera. Teacher, me quedé, voy entrando. Hi, we are writing vocabulary. We are practicing vocabulary. Todas las palabras que puedas con la letra S in English. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. In, al inicio. Okay, okay. Yes, that's the, that's the first one. Okay, don't worry. That's the first letter that we are working on. We have 40 seconds. We have the time right here on the camera. It's right here next to my face. Letter S. Okay. Letter S, as many as possible. And you will say, me puedo tantas y no me acuerdo de ninguna. Come on, come on, come on. No, practice, practice. No Google, okay? Don't Google anything. 14 seconds, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pencils up. No more writing. Arriba esos lápices. Arriba los lápices. Hands up, hands up. <laughs> no more writing. No more writing. Let's see. How many words did you write? How many? Count the words. Count the words. Eight. Eight. Okay. 26. Oh. 26. Wow, Isela. Wow. 26. Fantastic. More than 26. Uh, 21. <laughs> 21, but that's a good number. 21 is a good number. Okay. More? What about the rest? How many? How many? Did you? Laurita send them on the chat. She has four. Sunday, Saturday. And... <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Then you have two. That's good. Right? In my mind. <laughs> In my mind, 100. 20, 28, 26. But I'm driving right now. Oh, wow. Well, 26. But thank God that you have an extra point because you are driving. Be careful, okay? <laughs> so 26 words is a very good number. Okay. Give me examples of words with S. Okay. You say Saturday, Sunday. Still. Still. A storm. A storm. A storm. Um, Sun, 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 speak. Say, 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 small, small, easy, stay, savage. Arts. Second, second. second. Zoom. Spoon. 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 Spoon, shopping, good. Yeah. <laughs> now Stop. that you say like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. Supermarket. <laughs> Supermarket, silence. <laughs> Very good. Solution. Solution. Right. Solution. Solution. Sulfur. Simple. <laughs> Surf. Broker. Simple. Sister. Simple. Suffer. You see, now that they are saying, you say like, oh, si es cierto, es a la Soccer. Otra. Soccer. Right. Soccer. <laughs> Sweet. 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 Smile. Right. You have another one. Super. Escape. Escape. Very nice. Shallow. Shower. Shallow. Very good. Shower. Smell. Very good. Smell. 
Fantastic. You see, there are, there are many spellings. <laughs> there are many words with S that we can practice. I am going to give you the next letter. This is the, okay, this is the one. This is the challenge, mm. the one for the game. Okay, esta sí es la del reto. Okay. Ready? Okay. For the letter. <laughs> The letter is going to be letter B. <laughs> Go ahead. One minute. ¿Con cuál dijo, perdón? Letter B. Aquí se la puse. B, letter B, 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 B. B of burrito in Spanish. Mm -hmm. One minute. Starting for me right now because you already start. Okay. Go, 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 go. We have one minute on the clock. As many words as possible with the letter B. No se valen nombres, okay? No va a poner Betty, Beatriz. No, 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 no. Those are not allowed. No. Copy, 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 copy. Escribanos. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Only Brian, no, because he's right. He's driving. Twenty one seconds, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Go ahead, my little brains, my little brains, go ahead. Time is over. Time is over. Time is over. No more writing, no more writing. Aha. Hey, beauty, beautiful, and because. Okay, good, Lorita. Excellent. Count your words. Cuente, cuente, escribieron. How many do you have? Babies. Believe. No, don't tell me, don't tell me. Just give me the number. 12. 12, 13, they say. Good. Bank. Bank. Okay. <laughs> now, pay attention. You are going to go to your groups and you're going to share how many words did you have, okay? Lo voy a mandar a los grupos y van a compartir cuáles son sus palabras y cuántas escribieron. Go ahead. In a very quick way. Let's do this in a very, very quick way. Accept my invitation to go to the groups right now, please. Go ahead. I have you back in the main room. Roberto, did you, didn't you receive my invitation? Dianita, thank you. Thank you. Robert, did you receive my invitation to go to the groups? And I miss Indiana. Thank you very much. Okay.
Welcome, Isela. Welcome back. How many? How many did you write? Um, twelve. Twelve. With these, with these twelve. Okay. We, with S, twenty-one. Twenty-one with S and twelve with E, but that's a very good thing. It is a very good practice. It's a very good vocabulary practice. This one. Welcome back. Welcome back, my dear class. So you see. Was this exercise really complicated to do? ¿Se complicaron un montón en hacer este ejercicio? No. ¿Necesitaron un montón de materiales para hacerlo? No. no. You only need one paper or your cell phone and you need a letter. That's the only thing that you need and you can practice your English. Okay? Pueden agarrar una letra cualquiera and do this exercise. Put one or two minutes on the time and do the exercise. That is going to challenge you, your brain, your vocabulary, and your English knowledge, right? And later you can look for more information online. It is a very good way to practice vocabulary. So there you have it. Today we are going to start working with the verbs. Remember that in order to work with the verbs in past, we need to know for sure which part of English we are going to work with. And for the past tenses, we are going to work with the verbs. What are the verbs in English? The verbs are all these actions that we do, right? And for sure, any action that you do, it's related to a verb. For example, when you speak, that's an action, right? And that's a verb as well. When you talk, it's another one. When you jump, when you write, when you cook. Can you give me another verb? Run. When you run, good. Make. Make. Play. Play. Dance. Dance. And give me one more. When you study and when you travel, right? When you travel, all these are different actions, right? And what is the difference when we use them in past tense? The only difference is that the action is complete, right? When the action is completed already, it's in past tense. And in this one, for example, in present simple, you make a change on the verb when you use them in third person, right? ¿Se recuerdan el cambio que hacíamos al verbo cuando lo ocupábamos en tercera persona? What was the change? Se agregaba una S. Exactly, you used to add an S for he, she, and it, right? So you say travels, right? But this was for simple present. When you wanted to express that the person was doing the action, what do you add to the verb? La persona estaba haciendo la acción en ese momento. What do I, you add I to ing. the verb? You add ing, right? That was traveling, okay? Because it was happening at the moment, right? In the case of the past tense, the action is done. It is completed already, right? She is not going to travel anymore porque ya viajó. No va a estar viajando porque ya lo hizo. Right? And it is not in the present because it happened in the past. So, mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. case, you say traveled. Traveled. traveled right? Traveled. The thing that we need to be very careful about the past tense of the verb, in most of the cases with ED, is the ending or the pronunciation of the verb. That in many of the cases, you say traveled. And that's not correct, right? That's not right. You say traveled. And in this case, you omit the E and the sound, it's like a D sound, okay? Aquí como que quitáramos la E y suena como D. You say traveled, right? When you pronounce it in the past. En los dos documentos que les compartí, van divididos los verbos por su pronunciación con T, con ED y con it. Okay? Si no los tenemos por ahí, le voy a volver a enviar los documentos for you to have. So you say... Let's work only in the past tense here. For these type of verbs, for example, so you say, 
you say spoke, right? Speak, spoke. This is the past tense. Why is this one different to traveled? Because, because it's an irregular verb. Because it is an irregular verb. Perfect job, right? This is a regular verb and this is irregular because they have their specific form and these belong to a specific category, right? So in the case of talk, talk is a regular verb that you transform in the past with ed, right? And say, she talked to a friend, he talked. Jump, it's another regular verb. And you say, jumped, right? Jumped. Right is irregular because in the past tense you say wrote. I wrote a letter to my friend yesterday. You did it yesterday. I wrote a letter to my friend in the morning, right? This is past, right? Cook, it's regular. And you say cooked. Run is irregular. And the past tense is run. Okay, make, it's another irregular verb. And the past tense of this one is make, okay? Play, it's regular. And the past tense of this one is with ed, right? Played, played. Dance is another regular verb. You add the ed. And a study is another regular verb, but you make a change here with the form of Y. And you change it like this, right? You have it like this. So the verbs in past have their specific form. And one of the most common mistakes that we do when we use the past tense is it's when we try to use double verbs. This is a very common thing that when we are starting to use this, so you say, I was taught. This is a very common mistake. Que a todos le queremos poner was y el verbo en pasado. In this case, it is not possible. So you say, I, I taught. Because if not, you will say, yo fui hablado. And that's not a correct sentence, right? So you say, I talked. Yo hablé. Hablé con quien? I talked to my friends. I talked to my mother, right? So it's this is a very common mistake. Because when you have the verb to be, you only use the verb to be. And you can say, I was in... Uh, I was in a beautiful school yesterday, okay? And in this case, the verb, the main verb of the sentence is was. Porque no tenemos ningún otro verbo en la oración. Si se fijan, the only verb that we have is was. I was in a beautiful, oh, yeah, I made a mistake. Sorry, 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 sorry. Que no me dicen mis autocorrectores. In a beautiful school yesterday. Okay. Era para ver si estaban poniendo atención. No. In a beautiful school yesterday. I was in a beautiful school yesterday. And in this case, the only verb is was. So, but this is a general overview of everything that we are going to study, right? Este es como un brochazo lo que vamos a ver en todos estos días. And let's move on business and let's move on the presentation about the past tense. Let me share my screen with all of you. Yesterday, I was telling you that we are studying right here, right? What happens in the past? And I have a conversation as an example. And in this one, we are going to see the different uses of the past tense. Let's go sentence by sentence, okay? Let's analyze this one sentence by sentence. In the first question that we have here, this is a question in past. 
Did you have a good weekend? Okay. The auxiliary did in the sentences. This is going to be the beginning of a question in past. Did you have a good weekend? Si tenemos auxiliar, el verbo vuelve a ser normal, right? Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. What is the verb in this sentence? Had. Had, right? The verb in the second sentence is had. I feel a little tired today. Is this sentence in past or in present? In present. It's in present, right? Because it has a time expression here that says today. And this is a very common thing for the simple present forms, okay? When they have specific uh, expressions of time. So you say, well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. What is the verb on this sentence? Exercise. Exercise. Is it regular or irregular? Regular. It's regular, right? Then my roommate and I cleaned. I did the laundry and shopped. Here you have different actions, right? My roommate and I cleaned, did the laundry and shopped. You have three different things. And you will say, teacher, ¿por qué hay tres verbos en la misma oración? Because in this case, we have three different activities that were happening on the same situation at the same time. My roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, right? Those are three activities that happened in the same day. Right. And then I visited my parents. Right. I visited my parents. You have another sentence here. The verb on this one is visited. What did you do on Saturday? What is the difference between this question and the first question? What is the difference between the question that we have right here and the question that we have right here? Okay, the first one. El auxiliar, el auxiliar está como al principio, en la primera, ¿no? Ajá. Y en la segunda está como en medio de la oración, de la pregunta. Ajá. But what is the main difference? Hay una diferencia. The second, is, uh, the second began with double, double H words. Exactly like that. The second one, what type of question is it? Yes, no, or information question? Information question. Information question. Ding, ding, ding. Very good job. The first one is a yes, no question because it says, did you have a good weekend? Yes or no? Or good or bad? Yes or no? Right. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. The second question is, what did you do on Sunday? Que hiciste el domingo? She needs information, right? Information, detailed information. And she says, I studied for the test all day. That's the information that she receives, right? I studied for the test all day. And it says, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend, right? He was not prepared. So here we have a couple of examples, right? I didn't study. In the case of this one, this is a sentence in negative in the past, right? I didn't study. As you can see, you have the same auxiliary with the negative form and the verb is normal. So the only change that the verbs are going to have in the past are in the affirmative form, okay? Solo en las oraciones afirmativas cambia el verbo. Because in the negative and in the question, you have auxiliaries and they don't change, okay? So that's like kind of a good introduction for the topic. Let's practice the conversation. Let's practice the conversation and then we are going to move a little bit into the grammar explanation. I am going to be Michael and I need a Jennifer. Who wants to be my Jennifer? 
I need a Jennifer. Any volunteer? Wendy, go ahead. You are my Wendy Jennifer. Yo soy Jennifer. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. And a five. I feel a little tired. Feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very Well, well, on Saturday, I exercise, I exercise, exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and cleaning did the laundry and shopping. And then I visit my parents, okay. this woman. <laughs> and then I visited my parents, right? So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh, really? Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all week, right? Thank you very much, Wendy. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. I clap for Wendy. She did a very good job. She did a very, very good job. The pronunciation, we are going to master it a little bit. But in this one, you say, I exercised in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents, right? I visited my parents. Studied, right? That's the pronunciation for this one, studied. Okay, good. Very good job, Wendy. You did a fantastic job on the reading. The regular forms. We are going to start with this one, right? Vamos a empezar con los regulares. The changes that the verbs have in the regular forms are the addition of ed or d at the end of the sentence, at the end of the verb. And you have, for example, you have watch, watch, exercise, exercised with d, study, studied, stay, stayed, shop, shopped, right? And for the consonants, the, the change that I did on the verb study, for example, that you erase the Y and you add I, E, D, okay? For the other consonants, you have, for example, in the case of plan, you double the N and add E, D. A stop, you double the P and add E, D. The, these are the spelling rules for the change when you write them, right? You have walk and you add E, D. Play, you add E, D. Like, as it ends in E, like, como termina en E, no le va a poner otra E de, like E, no. So you say, liked, with only the D. Move, only the D. Carry, erase the Y, and change it to I, E, D. Aquí, si termina en Y, consonante previa, borramos la Y, E, D. Consonante, vocal consonante, o doble consonante, vocal consonante. You double the consonant and add ed. Okay, so these are the spelling rules for the changes, right? If you want to take a screenshot on this one, that's perfect, or I can share it with you later on. This one is not really complicated, and this happens only with the regulars. I have a little bit more examples here. To all these ones, for example, you are going to add ed. To these ones that finish in E, you are going to add D. For these ones, you add I, E, D. And for this one, you have double consonant and add E, D. How do you make the example here? Here, for this one, what would be the past tense of cook? Cooked with only the E, D form. What is the past tense of like? Like it. Liked. Liked. Like. And you only add the D. For these ones, you have to erase the Y and I, E, D, right? Right. 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 And for this one, you make a double consonant. And you say, stopped. Okay. Choose some other examples for you to write them on your notebook. Okay. 
practice with some of the other ones. Practicing con las otras. Go ahead. You can write them on your notebook. Practice. Practice with the different lists. So you can become familiar with the verbs. Okay, write the other examples on your notebook. Go ahead. Write some of the other verbs. Okay, it is not that you're going to complete all the examples, but you can have some of them for you to start practicing the rules of the grammar. Here you have looked, called, walked, played, helped, opened, watched, paint, jumped, played, brushed, followed. Here you're going to have lived, shared, used, saved, loved, and moved. Tried, dried, studied, carried, married, copied. And for the last one, you have pinned, clapped, popped, sipped. Do you know the meaning of all these verbs? ¿Se saben el significado de todos estos verbos que les mostré aquí? If you don't know any, you say, teacher, what is the meaning of? Huh? What is the meaning? Of sip. Sip. Do you sip. know these very famous bags that you close? That they're called sip lock. Lock. Sip. Okay. It means close. Como de the, sip. Exactly. Right? Sip. Sip is cerrar totalmente. You have the zipper. What does the zipper do? ¿Qué hace un zipper? Cerrar. Cierra todo completamente. So, zip is the action of closing, right? The bags are called zip lock. Son selladas y aseguradas. Zip lock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the meaning of that, right? Now we are discovering. Hope. The rabbit's hope. The rabbit's hope. The frog's hope. Brincar. Brincar. Como en este caso sería saltar. Clap. 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 Aplaudir. Clap. I always say claps for your friends and I do the action, right? Claps for your friends. Pin. Marcar. Pin. Like in Google Maps, you pin a your place. Um, okay, jump. It's ¿sí? saltar, brincotear, ¿verdad? brincar sería jump. Because hoop is saltar, pero como saltitos, como de animalitos, right? And jump, it's like the little kids that are all the time there. Any other one? Any other meaning that you don't know? Okay, so if you don't have more questions on these ones, we are going to see the next practice. This is for you to start like getting familiar with the changes of the verbs. I did, and I, I am going to show you this one. I have this document for all of you. Let me show it here. And I think I'd send it to you. If not, I am going to send it to you right now. They're regular verbs. 
in this document that I have right here, right? I have the verb, the form in third person, the simple past and the past participle, right? This one, you have the ing form, the infinitive and the meaning, okay? En este listado, tienen todas estas formas. And you also have the pronunciation of the verb, okay? For example, here, you know that this verb, accept, it's going to be pronounced with id at the end. You say, accepted, right? Accepted. What is the important column for you right now? La columna que vamos a resaltar de importante para estos días es esta, que dice simple past tense. Ya lo voy a volver a enviar al grupo, por si lo perdió, se corrió ahí en, el, en los enviados, it's okay. I'm going to send it to you right now. And you have here, how to use it in third person, how to use it in past, how to use it in participle, how to use it in gerund, and how to use it as an infinitive. Okay, and the meaning. Accepted. Estas palabritas que tiene aquí abajo, esta marca que tienen todos estos verbos en la parte de abajo, es como suena o en qué categoría queda. For example, here, you have all the ones with id. Okay, todos estos terminan en id. And you say, in the pronunciation form, okay, esa es la parte de pronunciación. You say, counted. They did, and did, expected, intended, needed, planted, pointed, rented, repeated, resisted, started, visited, waited, right? All these ones are with id. All these ones are with t at the end. How would you say, like, teacher, pero como que suena como te? Imagine that here, for example, I am going to make this change. And you don't have the ed. Imagínense que para su pronunciación no tiene ed, pero aquí tiene una letra T. And you say, asked, cooked, danced, dressed, erased, finished. The t -t 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 sound at the end, the T sound, right? So you say, finished. Imagínese que aquí no tiene ed, pero para pronunciarlo es t. Say, finished. Dressed. Erased. Right? That's the pronunciation form of this category. If we continue, woo, all these ones finish with t. So you say, dressed, erased, finished, helped, jumped, liked, looked, missed, practiced pushed, smoked. All these ones finish with T. And we continue with more here. All these are regular. Solo los verbos regulares tienen pronunciación específica. Eso hay que recordar. Solo los regulares tienen pronunciación específica porque los irregulares tienen su forma completa, su pronunciación distinta. No problem. So, these are the ones with T. What about the ones that sound D? In this one, you have to imagine that, for example, here, so you say answered. Imagínese que no tiene la E para pronunciarlo. So you say arrived, belonged, cleaned, climbed, right? And that's how you train the pronunciation. ¿Cómo vamos a mejorar la pronunciación? Vamos a agarrar estas listas y nos vamos a ir. Va, todos estos son con D. Answered, arrived, belonged, cleaned, climbed, considered, practice, practice and practice, right? Then you're going to have considered, right? You have here all the ones that finish with the D sound in past tense, right? I think they are more, right? Son los que más tienen. De todos los verbos regulares, hay muchos más en todas las categorías que suenan con D. Los que suenan con id son poquitos, los que suenan con T son poquitos, pero los que suenan con D son la gran mayoría. So there you have them divided, okay? 
So th this in this document, you are going to have all these pronunciation practice, okay? So let's do a little exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio chiquito. Vamos a ir con todos los que terminan en ir. Practice with me. You say accepted. 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 Intended. Okay. Needed. 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 Planted. 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 Pointed. 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 Granted. Granted. Repeated. Repeated. Resisted. Resisted. Started. Started. Visited. Visited. Waited. We wanted. 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 I wanted to call you yesterday. I want. I wanted to, to call you yesterday. yesterday. I started my class yesterday. I started my class yesterday. I visited my family on Saturday. I visited my family on Saturday. I waited for you for three hours. I waited for three hours. For three hours. Hours, hours, hours. Three hours. And that's how you use a past tense in a sentence, right? Ahí ya lo vamos poniendo. With the correct pronunciation. Because many people say, I visited. I started. Visited. No, or I started. And I regular de la pronunciación. I waited, you say, no, I waited, wanted, waited. started, right, with the E sound. Started. Let's practice a couple of the ones with the T sound. So you say, I asked, asked, Ask. cook, Ask. cook, danced, danced, danced. dressed, dressed, erased, erased, erased. finished. 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 I finished the practice, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I finished the practice, right? The bright. I cooked dinner. I cooked dinner. I, cooked dinner. I danced yesterday. I danced. I danced. I erased your number. I erased I your number. number. Okay, I raised your number. The number. The T T T sound. Okay. Because si lo, si no les hubiera explicado que esto suena como T, cómo hubieran pronunciado el verbo erase. Eraser. I erased your number. I dressed very very quick. No, right? So that's why I <laughs> finished. <laughs> exactly like that, right? I finished. Finished. I finished, right? I cooked dinner. I cooked dinner. I That's cooked. why I, I love to teach this pronunciation thing first, right? ¿Por qué les enseño la pronunciación yeah. primero? Right. ¿Por qué? Porque después les voy a enseñar a hacer oraciones. Pero me va a costar más enseñarles a pronunciar las oraciones después que si se los hubiera enseñado antes, right? I cooked dinner, teacher. Now you say, I cooked dinner. I danced yesterday. And you are going to tell me, teacher, pero como voy a acordar cuáles terminan en te, cuáles terminan en de, y cuáles terminan en you. With practice. That's why, por eso hasta les he dividido en categorías chiquitas, cada uno, bien bonita. So, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. Aquí no pero a mí me sale cortado. Cuando lo abro, no me sale toda la primera línea. Aunque lo haga chiquito, lo haga grande. Ok, se lo voy a mandar como PDF entonces, para que no se les mueva. Okay. Ya voy tienen a... escalo, no es cielo. <ríe> ya tengo, voy con todo y sandalia. So, <ríe> it, this one. I'm going to send you the PDF then, so it doesn't move. Ok, se lo voy a hacer PDF para que no se les mueva. Y no se les cambie ni se les arregle. Okay. 
And you can practice. Okay. And you can practice okay. with it. El sonido cambia. <laughs> it changes, right? Definitely. It changes the sound. Definitely. Se me corta, teacher. La, el el yeah. word y se me arruina. Ahí llegaba. <laughs> so in this case, you say answered with a D answered. at the end, right? Arrived. Arrived. Belonged. Cleaned. The D Cleaned. sound at the end. Cleaned. Cleaned. Climbed. Cleaned. So you say yeah. cleaned, no, cleaned, Climbed. no. So you say cleaned, cleaned. En cleaned. la pronunciación de la D, en la pronunciación de la D, imagínense que ustedes están borrando la E. Y dicen answered, arrived, belonged, cleaned, climbed. Okay? And you have the D sound at the end. And there you have the three mm. different categories of pronunciation for the regulars, mm. okay? These are for the regular forms, okay? Questions so far so good? Okay, Wendy dice, a mí me salían cortados los listados, pero ahora ya no porque se lo puede mandar en PDF. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Let's go back to the presentation. On the presentation here, I also have the irregular forms, okay? I also have the irregulars and let me show you the irregulars. These are, this is another one that I sent you, right? I sent you this one as well. And this one, it's also divided in little groups for you to get to recognize them, right? You have the third person simple and the past tense, right? The simple past. The most important verbs, be, do, have, come, get, make, say, and tell. So son los más usados, los más comunes. And then you have perception, perception verbs. Perception are actions that you do. For example, hear, see, smell, and feel, right? These are perception verbs. I heard something. I saw something. I smelled something. I felt something. As you can see here, esos no tienen reglas de pronunciación porque tienen su base específica. Esos son irregulares. There is a good group on this one. Todavía el señor fue bueno con nosotros y nos dio un grupo que no cambia. So you have cost, cut, hit, let, put, read, and shut. Okay, these don't change. These ones are the ones that go with the E sound at the end, right? So you have bite, broke, chose, drove, ate, fell, gave, forgot, forgave, right? This change, these vowels, right? We have this category. Froze, hid, rode, rose, shock, right? Agitar, sacudir. I spoke, stole, took, walk, and wrote. These are the ones that change the IU for AU. So you have begin, began, drink, drank, ring, rang. I will make it bigger for you. Sing, sang, swing, swung, swim, swung. Right? There you have these ones. And these ones are the ones with the W and O N O W N Blow Blue Draw Drew Fly Flew Grow Grew No New Throw Through And here you have the definitions, right? What is the meaning? These ones, for example, are the ones that change to O U G H T. Todas estas cambian para el ending G H T. Si se fijan, estas tienen esto en común que tienen las últimas tres letras iguales. So you say, bring, brought, buy, bought, catch, cut, fight, fold, teach, taught, think, thought. Right, this is another category. And this is the last one. So these are irregular verbs. You will say like, oh no, teacher. It's a lot of practice, right? Esa es la parte que todos le temen el inglés. No sé por qué le temen a los verbos en pasado. Es el que lleva un poquito más de dedicación. Tiene que ponerle un poquitito más de amor. Pero no es difícil en realidad. 
si conocemos, si practicamos, si leemos, it's going to help us a lot. Okay. ¿Cómo nos va a ayudar? Ajá, teacher, ya los conozco, ya me los puedo y todo. No nos vamos a quedar solamente con conocer los verbos. Vamos a hacer oraciones con ellos, vamos a hacer frases con ellos, vamos a hacer párrafos con ellos. Okay. How would you make the verbs in past meaningful? ¿Cómo los hace más significativos? Con la lectura. ¿Por qué? Porque todos los libros están escritos en pasado. Todos los libros están en pasado. So if you start reading books in English, you are going to discover more vocabulary in past. So this was a very strong introduction for the verbs, right? Sé que ahorita puede haber sido así como un baldazo de agua, ¿verdad? Tanto verbo. Tanta cosa, sorry. Mis vecinos andan conociendo sus motores. <laughs> es primera vez que tienen carro. <laughs> so, um, hoy pudieron sentir así como, teacher, tanto verbo, tanta palabra, tanto. It's a matter of practice, ¿ok? It is for you to know. Si solo les doy tres, cuatro verbos, en la vida no van a ir a defenderse con tres, cuatro verbos. No, yo quiero que okay. lleven todas las armas posibles. ¿verdad? No solo. Eh, I studied. I cleaned. I cooked. Solo eso puedo. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> I need you to know all the different verbs, all the different actions and how you use them. Okay? Because that's the important part of this. No solo que ustedes sepan lo que están en el libro sino todos los posibles. Okay, that's my idea. That you discover everything about the English. Okay. How do you use them? For example, in sentences. In sentences, you use the verbs in this form. So you have, if you have the verb to be, si solo tenemos el verbo to be, con was or were, you only use the verb in the sentence. They were friends. Esta oración en simple present hubiera sido they are friends, pero ya no son amigos. So, they were friends. Ahora fueron amigos. No, nunca fueron amigos, teacher. They weren't friends. And in this one, for the last form, we're going to make a question. And it will go, for example, like this. Where they friends were they friends fueron amigos maybe not right if you have an a specific verb como les decía anteriormente si tenemos un verbo en específico no vamos a ocupar was or were en la oración she worked yesterday ella trabajó cuando ayer right yeah. yesterday and say not teacher ni fue aquí se quedó durmiendo She didn't work yesterday. She didn't work. Ya tenemos un auxiliar y aquí es donde entra lo lindo de los verbos en pasado. Los únicos que nos dan problemas son los afirmativos. The negatives. And the questions have an auxiliary. She didn't work. Si tenemos el auxiliar didn't, que es para los negativos, el verbo es normal. Did she work yesterday? Si tenemos el auxiliar para la pregunta, el verbo. No cambia. Did she work yesterday? No, she didn't. Okay. So, before you leave today, antes de que se vayan, primero le voy a pasar lista. And the second one, I am going to give you one sentence. Give me one thing that you did yesterday. Piensen en una cosa que hicieron ayer. And invent one sentence. Piensen en todo lo que voy a pasar lista, okay? Let me just pause this one. Did I shop? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Piensenla, piensenla. Piensenla. Paso lista mientras usted la piensa. Okay. And analyze it. No le pongan doble verbo, no le pongan verbo to be otro verbo. Tiene que ser bien pensada la oración. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Ana Isela. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Ruth. Present. Brian Francisco. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto.
Cintia Marisol. Present. David Alejandro. Here. David Rafael. Present. Thank you. Diana Beatriz. Present. Diego Rodrigo. Eric Javier. Eric Javier. Present. Thank you. Fatima Ibin. Fatimita. Tenemos a Fatima por aquí. Fatima, Fatima. No, we don't have Fatima today. Okay. Jorge Francisco. Here, teacher. Josué Abel. Present teacher. Juana Margarita. Present teacher. Catherine Jamilet. Laura Lisset. Present teacher. Lorena Araceli. Present teacher. Mirna Yasmin. Present teacher. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Reina Yael. Present. Roberto Carlos. Here. Sandrita Beatriz. Present. Sebastián Guadalupe. Present. Tatiana Abigail. Tati. Tati. Where are you? Tati. Está escribiendo en el chat. Ok, Tati nos mandó el chat. Ok, perfecto. Úrsula Adriana. Present. And Wendy Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Now, send me one sentence. <laughs> Catherine says, teacher, present, present, present. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Ya, ya, perdón, no había visto el chat. Ok. Think about one sentence and give me one sentence in past about what you did yesterday. I can say, I started yesterday. Okay, estoy libre, ya, puedo ir. I started yesterday. David Rafael dice, I went to work. Bye bye, David. I worked ah. yesterday. I worked yesterday, I worked Oscar. Yesterday, I worked. <laughs> I work today, I, work, I will work tomorrow. Okay, another one. <laughs> Díganme su frase I, y se pueden ir a dormir. I, I exercised yesterday. yesterday. I exercised yesterday, bye-bye. I went to the gym yesterday. I went to the gym, bye-bye. Bye. Yesterday, yesterday I went for a walk. I went, my, for, uh -huh. I went I, for a walk? Yes, with my children. With your children, very good job. Yes. Have a good night. Uh -huh. Thank you. I was eat yesterday. I was eat. Yo fui comido. I. ¿Cuál es el pasado de eat? eat. ¿Cuál es el pasado de eat? Ayúdenle, su amigo, no lo dejen morir. Ate. I ate. I ate. So I ate. ate. Yesterday. Bye bye. I ate yesterday. Very good job. Another one. Give me one more. I drive there yesterday. I drove. I drove. Porque drive. I drove. Is, I drove. Very good. Bye bye. I went to the gym. Bye bye. Uh -huh. uh, I took a shower. I took a shower. Bye bye. I played yesterday. I played. Very good. Bye bye. I went to the room. the world. I went to the work, I went to the, what was the other one? What the did you river. say, Eric? Yes. I went to the river, very good. I worked yesterday, bye-bye. <laughs> Give me another sentence. I studied English yesterday. I studied English yesterday, very good. I went shopping, went, Lorenita, went, W-E-N-T. Bye-bye, Lorena, I went shopping. <laughs> ¿Quién te habló? He called yesterday. Bye bye. <laughs> uh -huh. Give me one more, one more. I cleaned it yesterday. I cleaned yesterday, Juanita. Bye bye. Bye bye. I drove yesterday. I drove yesterday. Bye bye, Josué. I have more in the chat. I went shopping. I worked yesterday. I went to the gym. Very good job. Okay. 
los demás, aquí nos vamos a quedar a hacer pijamada. I read a book yesterday. I read a book. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, give me one more. And we are all going to leave. Yesterday I went to buy some shoes. I went to buy some shoes. Perfect. Bye bye, Ana Ruth. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay, Juanita, ya nos podemos ir a dormir. Guadalupe, one more. No, nada. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I studied science with my daughter. I studied science with my daughters. And Jorge Francisco? Jorgito. Jorgito aquí se va a quedar a dormir conmigo. Yo estoy supervisando. <laughs> Juanita quiere ver que las hagan bien. <laughs> ok, Diego Rodrigo. En el chat sobrevivamos de alguna manera. Veamos. <laughs> Si no, aquí Hacia tu compañía estoy yo. Compañía. Apoyo moral, dice. Jorgito. I think Jorgito is sleeping already. He went to sleep. <laughs> well, my dear class, have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you on Monday. Practice the verbs, okay? Bye bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.